Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about flowchart. What is flowchart? Before that, when you come across a complex problem, there are two smart ways to approach complex problem. Either divide them into a smaller parts or make use of visuals. Flowcharts do both. The brain of human processes images more quicker than word. Thus, flowcharts help in break down large problem into small ones. Let's examine how flowcharts might help understand an oversee of our work process. Today, in my agenda, I'm going to talk about flowcharts and how to build the flowchart and what are the related information of flowcharts. What is flowchart? Flowchart is a visual representation of a process or an algorithm widely utilized across diverse fields such as computer programming, engineering, business and many more. Floor charts use a variety of shapes and symbols connected by arrows to show how a process flow step by step. Every shape represents a particular action or steps, and arrows shows the order in which this action carried out. Let's see most common symbols and sample flowchart here. The first one in green color is the start symbol, which is oval. We use oval, oval shape for start and end. If you use a rectangle, it shows a process, step or action. And if you use a diamond symbol, it means this is the point where we take a decision in our process. So these are the main symbols we use in a flowcharts. You can Google on other standard symbol that we could use in the flowchart. After that, we will see what are the tools that we could use in flowchart. Omnigraphle, Smart Draw, Microsoft Visio, Lucid Chart. So these are the tools that we use to draw a flowchart. Let's take an example flowchart here and see how we could write a flowchart for a login. In this, this is a login process. So we start by entering the website. Once you enter the website, you have to make a decision whether you are a new user or an existing user. If you are a new user, you have to go through the sign up process. You have to fill the information, you have to submit them, and you will be back to login page. If you are an existing user or new user who already registered, you have to come into the login process. Then you have to enter input, which is email and the password. If your email and password is valid, you can go through the login process and you will be authenticated. If not, you have to go back to login and enter your email and password and come back. So this way, you will log into your system and the process will be ended. This is a sample flowchart for login process. Let's see type of flowcharts. Basic flowchart. It represents a process in a sequential manner. Data flowchart, it represents a data flow of the system 
focusing on data. Workflow for diagram is it tasks performed by individual and or group will illustrate in a draft workflow manner. Streamline is a process that we have taken place will be divided in divided or organized in a department manner. Thank you for joining us today. Let's meet again.